scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Therefore, I declare over you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the favor of God rest on your head. You know, I told you that the number one reason why people succeed is favor. If this is the only grace you receive and live, I guarantee you, you will return back rejoicing. Yeah. One more time, I'm saying it, especially for those who have not seen this grace walk in you. I pray for you. This is a house and a life that God has shown favor in an unusual dimension. May that grace rest upon you. Yeah. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. From across the seven continents of the earth, anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising, whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you, I take it out of the way now. I take it out of the way now. Number three, the grace for visibility. Whatever has closed your glory so that your works and your excellence is not seen, especially by those who can celebrate God with you and even re reward you. I declare, may that grace cause your face to be seen. May that grace cause your voice to be heard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory. In this case, Abuja here or whatever territory you are coming from, I declare the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all, that even the king is fed by the increase of the field. Your portion in this land or wherever you are represented, I command it to locate you. I command it to gravitate towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, I pray for your family. If it is well with you and it is not well with your family, then it is not well with you. I pray for you. All your siblings, your parents, your loved ones, all who are connected to you by natural descent, by blood, and by responsibility, none of them will go down. None of them will go down. None of them will fall by the wayside. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, Koinonia. Let a mark and a mantle of honor, let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your destiny. Everyone who is in ministry here, and it looks like ministry is barren, unfruitful, you love God, you are serving him with integrity of heart, but there are no results that follow your loving and serving Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to command unusual results. Begin to command unusual results. I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I pray for our children. We prayed for our children already. But we are praying for our children. Koinonia children will be known for excellence. Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. I pray for every professional here. Anyone here who is in the career path, especially a professional, in the name of Jesus, I forbid you from remaining at the same position. <laughs> Business people, hear me. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper. Everyone in business here, I place an anointing upon you. Go and prosper. 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 Anyone here in need of a job, I declare may your supernatural job locate you. Shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. This is a major prayer point. I've spoken about the things that pertain to life. Let me now speak about the things that pertain to godliness. Because this is very important. Anything eating up your prayer life. So that your passion and your zeal for fellowship and prayer has gone down or you are not interested in spiritual things again receive the fire of revival now <laughs> whatever spirit ties you and does not allow you to stand up to take your place like a priest and pray against demonic things I decree and declare right now let fresh fire come upon your altar <laughs> Number two, your word study life. Please hear me. You cannot afford to live in ignorance. The secret of dominion is access to light and even understanding. In the name of Jesus, the grace to be a student of scripture, the grace to be given to doctrine, to learning, may that mantle rest upon you now. For those of you who love Jesus, but your company is full of bad and destructive people. May my God separate you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Edit your friends. Edit your relationships. Make sure love everybody. Mean everybody well. But protect your focus. Protect your vision. And make sure you surround yourself with people who are going where you are going. In the name of Jesus Christ. There will be no obituary from any family. I say it again, there will be no obituary from any family. Whether by road, whether by air, whether by sea, be protected. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, Nigeria is like a boiling pot and there are so many things happening right now. You know, we are trusting God to be able to select leaders that really love this nation and fear God and mean well for this nation from the presidency gubernatorials there are a number of people here who are you know in politics some are even directly contesting for various positions please hear me let me say this if you belong to this ministry and you are contesting for any political position please be sure from your heart that you will not go and be a disappointment to Jesus and even to us Many Christians cry and ask people to vote for them. Once they are voted into power, they throw away God and act like unbelievers until their tenure is almost finished. Then they just package more money and bring to church as a bribe to restore the damage that they have done for the kingdom. We pray that from this place, God will raise people who are different. I pray for all of you here in this ministry who are contesting or connected to people who are contesting. May my God grant you favor. Amen. But I pray for Nigeria. We pray for Nigeria right from this place. From the presidency, that's right. Thank God for the national flag as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus, we pray for this beloved country, Nigeria. And we prophesy by the power that raised Christ from the dead that there will be no bloodshed. Amen. Please shout amen. amen. Everyone or any parties or any individuals from the presidency down 
to local government or to counselors that are already preparing thugs, paying people, hiring mercenaries that they will be maiming and killing. In the name of Jesus, we release instruments of judgment from here. Any arrangement for vote buying, any arrangement for stealing, manipulation of figures in the name of Jesus may the hand of God and the sword of judgment speak against such and we declare that in a way we have never seen in this nation from the presidency to the lowest levels may God handpick for every region in the name of Jesus Christ but by all means we pray for peace in the name of Jesus Christ. No violence, whether pre-election, during election, or post-election. I shared with you a vision last week that God showed me. We pray for all our media houses that God will grant them grace to do that which they need to do with intelligence and with excellence and professionalism. That the media houses will not be the reason for chaos and violence in the name of Jesus Christ. The meaning of that is that since God is putting Nigeria in place, your life must be in place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be for you. For all our international guests who have traveled all the way coming here, you return back with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you